candidates become America's newest sweethearts, so let's shake a tail feather, shall we? Okay, so, um, I don't know if you read my files on the way in, but I'm really old now. I'm very old. Um, I just turned 27, which is really so unlike me, if you know me. It's actually V27. But the thing is, I still live this kind of weird collegiate lifestyle where I wake up every morning going, oh, Jesus, what's gonna get shut off today? <laughs> and as it turns out, most recently, it was, in fact, the water. So I had to go down to the DWP and meet and greet all the other deadbeats my age who can't get their lives together, you know? Got our little sweatpants on, our little Nirvana baseball caps walking around. Kind of sheepish going, hey, how you doing? I know, too old to live this way. How you doing? Too old to live this way. How you doing? Glass houses. How you doing? Judge not, lest ye be. <laughs> Let me explain why this little Generation X phenomena keeps repeating itself. People my age and a tad older tend to be the spawn of kind of WW2 post-depression type people who knew the value of a dollar, got married, vowed to work really hard so their kids wouldn't have to. And guess what? We don't! Hi, how are you? <laughs> I am a total straight C, 2.5 low maintenance cum type of gal. You know, don't push me on this. I have never in my life uttered the phrase, is there gonna be extra credit on this? You know, because I'd never do it. But as a consequence of this, I have like no math skills at all. I have no educational skills. And what am I gonna do, God forbid, if one of my children comes at me with their math homework? God forbid again, I have children, all right? <laughs> Don't judge me for being barren. I, I admit I cried at the end of parenthood, too. All right, when all the babies were being born, I cried because I knew I would never know the joy of childbirth with Ron Howard directing. But <laughs> be that as it may, if my son ever comes out with his math homework, I'll be like, um, why don't you just look in the back of the book, honey? Or, uh, let's just... Cheat off one of your little friends, which your father and I always did. And what are you actually doing your work? Shouldn't you be up in your room smoking or watching a Van Damme film right about now? <laughs> Those action films, twice the Van Damage. Those movies like totally kill me, like Steven Seagal films, the copy on the post, which is like, they killed his wife, his family. They messed with the wrong guy. As opposed to others who just let that roll right off their back. It's like, oh my God. <laughs> what? The light bill? Oh, talk about Murphy's Law. Okay. <laughs> you know what's weird? Okay. You know how it's weird, like, when you're born, it's like clean slate tabula rasa for those college people? Like, when you're out of the womb, it's like, you don't know anything except you do know innately that it's okay to throw your trash on the movie theater floor. It's like some kind of weird genetic coding, some kind of RNA, DNA, red vine, helix of some kind. <laughs> Do you think that, like, even in Shakespearean times or Greek theater in the round, they just huck their snow caps right on the floor? It's like, in the middle of Antigone, you had an usher come on. Come on, man, get your sandals off the back of that seat. See, right up your robe, have some pride, man. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that uh, the Hard Rock Cafe, I believe, is spreading itself just a bit too thin at this point. They keep opening ones in like every minor and major city in the Western Hemisphere. The memorabilia is a little slipshod at this point. I think they're just throwing guitars at Eddie Van Halen. Eddie, think fast. Did you touch it? Put it on the wall. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. A mouthpiece for a generation. Thanks. I just think that I went to one in Erie, Pennsylvania. I just think there's something so heinous about paying $8.50 for pizza skins next to Neil Sadaka's neckerchief and a pair of Abba's clogs. <laughs> something about that. Being here in L.A., I live in my car, thanks. And the worst thing is getting stuck in late afternoon traffic pinned behind the Toyota of some kind of farm workers facing you. It's always like the worst thing. I'm just really not self-actualized enough to handle that gracefully. I have to play with fictitious tape deck for about 20 minutes. June, July, August, let's go. And like pedestrians' rights is the worst thing. Pedestrians' rights, where do I stand on those? Suppose if I'm walking, I'm all for them. If I'm driving, that's a whole nother can of worms right there. But. If I have to stop yet again on my arduous journey down Sunset to let you cross, don't milk it, don't rub my nose in it, don't mosey, don't amble, I wanna see sparks flying off those Reeboks, all right? Those tap shoes? 
Oh. Yes. Thank you. Then my Doc Martens have shoes. I'm the alternative queen. Thanks. <laughs> now, you just got back from the road? You've been out on the road a lot? Yes, I have. Do you want to talk about that? OK, great. Um, <laughs> the thing I wanted to say about that is I have this incredible, like, bad radio trapezius muscle built up right here, because I'm driving across country, and I drive, like, with the radio dial. Do you know how bad radio is? It's like. Somebody's trying to, it's like this conspiracy to test how much I can take. Like after the 800th Phil Collins song, I'm like, all right, I give. Uncle, I'll talk. No more Phil Collins, please. And then they throw like an Amy Grant in. And by the way, Amy Grant, who crossed over, but I think she forgot to bring the crossover. I just wanted to say that. Now you know I attract a heavy fundamentalist you Christian do. demographic. Why would you swim right into that? Because I like to stir it up. I like to mix it up. Just before you came out, I held candles up to Tone Loke's voice box <laughs> and uh, made a whole evangelical thing out yeah, there. He's so raspy. I was thinking how great my career would be if I talked like him. People would think I was so cool. Give me a little. A little what? Look. <laughs> A little of that. We'll go to a commercial. Uh, we'll be right back with author Ann Rule after this. Gene Garoppolo, folks.